Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I would like to show to you my way of creating vector art in Adobe Photoshop CC. I will be using, yes, Adobe Photoshop CC, my Wacom tablet and new curvature pen tool. So let's start. I have created my uh, simple document. You can create your document in any size you want to. And also I specify um, curvature um, pen tool option uh, to pass shape and also I'm using red a uh, color because today I will be creating very healthy apple and because it's healthy fruit I will be using very happy bright colors let's start creating our uh, apple I will click on um, any part of my document to create my first anchor point I will create next to it to create my second anchor point and voila I will continue creating my um, apple shape just like that guys don't stress out don't try to create perfect um, shape you will adjust your shape uh, apple shape at any time later on so just enjoy of your um, creation just like that and voila now I have not too perfect apple and of course I have um, many ways to modify it I will click on any anchor point I would like to modify just like that I highlighted this anchor point and I will move it I will drag it out just like that same with this anchor point perfect and voila if you would like to delete your anchor point you can highlight your anchor point and click delete key if you want uh, to add any anchor point simply click on uh, any part of your shape and voila but I don't like it I don't want to have extra point extra anchor point today so this is my basic apple shape now time to apply a few modifications I would like to apply some highlights to my uh, apple using same curvature pen tool I will select uh, I will create um, a highlight uh, you can create highlight uh, in any color in any shape everything is up to you guys just like that perfect I will change color let's see probably the red and I will bring down opacity of my highlight just like that I can modify my highlight shape using um, the same curvature tool I can add extra point anchor point and I will um, modify my uh, highlight just like that perfect see I can modify I can adjust my shape I created using uh, curvature uh, pen tool at any time this is guys this is awesome I'm using curvature pen tool all the time now with um, selection with my vector art pretty much with everything so guys this is basic shape with basic um, highlight now to time to create um, another um, uh, apply another uh, accent to our apple I will um, create uh, I will switch to uh, ellipse tool and I will create basic shape just like that I will um, apply dark uh, color dark red color and I will move it on top of my uh, all layers just like that on top of my apple and now I will switch back to my curvature pen tool and I will create thin of my uh, apple just like that very simple just like that and again guys don't stress out you can adjust your uh, shape at any time like I'm doing right now see I'm adjusting it perfect just like that something like that and I will change color to the dark brown using move tool I will move it just like that perfect what I will do right now now I will create um, a leaf for my apple using same curvature uh, pen tool I will create a leaf 
You can create a leaf in any shape you want to. Just like that. Do not alert, we will change color. I will adjust my leaf just like that. Probably I want some fancy shape. And I will switch color to the green. Using a uh, move tool, I will move it close to my uh, apple just like that. Now I will uh, zoom in my apple and I will adjust my steam. Using um, move tool, I will select this layer and I will bring it down just like that. And also I would like to move my leaf behind it just like that. Perfect. That's awesome, guys. Now I will select my background layer and using rectangle tool i will create background for my vector art and again because i'm creating a very healthy apple i would like to use bright colors so uh, this one maybe something like that yes and using same uh, rectangle tool i will create um, my table but i will change color of my table just like that. That's beautiful. Now, time to apply um, shadow. Um, I will switch to ellipse tool and I will create simple uh, shape. I will change color and I will bring down opacity of this layer. Using same ellipse tool, I will create another um, simple ellipse and I will move it just under my apple and voila so guys this is easiest way of create simple or complicated vector art in Adobe Photoshop CC if you would like to create something complicated uh, definitely you need to spend more time you need um, uh, to spend more time you need to uh, create m uh, more details and everything like that but this is my way of creating vector art so you have an idea how you can start from and definitely you can continue working on your project uh, if you would like to see um, my way of creating another uh, object uh, using same curvature uh, pen tool i will be continue working on this project and i will upload um, a new video to my uh, teaching website so guys if you would like to see progress of this art uh, just um, uh, stop by at my um, teaching website and you will be able to um, I see my entire process of creating still life in Adobe Photoshop CC using new curvature uh, pen tool. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye.